the Utah Jazz were involved in trade talks aimed at acquiring Drew Holiday. The team has demonstrated significant activity in trade negotiations and plans to continue doing so. According to information from Zach Lowe, the Utah Jazz were exploring the possibility of negotiating with the Portland Trailblazers to acquire Drew Holiday. Below you will find a log with the exact date and time of the trading discussions. According to Zach Lowe, the Utah Jazz were in trade talks with the Portland Trailblazers to facilitate the transfer of Drew Holiday. Below is the record with the precise date and time of the negotiations. Another piece of news that came out was HBTJ Newsletter, a look at Talon Horton Tucker, Jazz Plus, and other interesting topics. What can we anticipate from Talon Horton Tucker's second season with the Jazz? Will Hardy predicts intense competition for minutes at the point guard position, rivaling the Hunger Games' worthy challenges this season? Regarding this scenario, Talon Horton Tucker comments, I wouldn't want it any other way. The 22-year-old will undoubtedly be one of the most watched players in camp considering the Jazz's needs at that position. Although Jordan Clarkson, Laurie Markkinen, and John Collins shared some intriguing stories at Monday's Media Day. In his first season with the Jazz, Horton Tucker averaged 10.7 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 3.8 assists in about 20 minutes of playing time per night. Entering his fifth season, the six-foot-one guard will face a year in which his role and performance could vary considerably. During last season, Horton Tucker faced challenges, especially due to a lack of accuracy in throwing and some hasty plays. However, after the All-Star break, Horton Tucker moved into the point guard role, resulting in a notable increase in his production to 17.4 points, 5.0 rebounds, and 6.2 assists per game. Although challenges regarding shooting and turnovers were still evident, Horton Tucker demonstrated potential as a versatile, athletic, large ball handler. It just gives us a benchmark of where we can go, Horton Tucker commented on this transition period. This gives us a standard. However, with Colin Sexton and Jordan Clarkson now fit and Keonti George entering competition for playing time, Horton Tucker will have to fight to secure his minutes. You have to be ready and willing to compete every day, Horton Tucker said. Your amount of time on the court will likely correlate to your ability to hit open shots. With a less than 30% success rate on three-point shots last season, shooting represents one of the biggest challenges for Horton Tucker to become a positive impact player. Although he has the ability to penetrate defenses, opposing teams tend to give him space on the perimeter. At just 22 years old, Horton Tucker still has plenty of room to grow and improve. However, given the fierce competition on the Utah Jazz roster, this development will need to happen in the near future. Jazz Plus announces pricing and details for direct-to-consumer streaming service. The Utah Jazz have released details of their new direct-to-consumer streaming service called Jazz Plus. For an annual fee of $125.50, subscribers will have access to live gaming streams, exclusive content, and other original on-demand videos. Those who sign up for an annual plan by October 24th will receive a bonus of two tickets to a selected jazz game, plus a hat and t-shirt. For those who don't want to subscribe to the streaming service, jazz games will still be available on KJZZ throughout the upcoming season. Rounding out the technical team, new additions and changes. Head coach Will Hardy has finalized his coaching staff for next season, including new members Chad Forsier, Rick Higgins, Scott Morrison, and Mike Williams. Jason Terry, Lamar Skeeter, and Marison will join Hardy on the courtside. Additionally, Thomas Kithier and Brandon Robinson have been added to the team as assistant video coordinators. Notably, some absences from last season's team include Alex Jensen, Brian Bailey, and Irv Roland. In conclusion, we hope you enjoyed this analysis on Talon Horton Tucker and the exciting updates from the Utah Jazz. If you like this content, don't hesitate to leave your opinion in the comments, give it a like, and share it with other basketball lovers. 
Also, to always stay up to date with the latest news and analysis from the world of sport, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter and follow us. And thanks for following us and see you next time.